G'day, welcome back. Today what we're going to do is we've got a deer hide here. Little fellow deer. He's been salted. He's been salted and put away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rehydrate him and take the salt out and we'll flush him. So what I'll do is I'll stick him in the bucket there. Any bucket would do. You can use one of these 20 litre buckets if you want. That's totally up to you. Sometimes if the wife's not home, I'll go in the laundry and use the laundry tub in there to make sure she's not listening. Okay, so what we do is we need to dissolve all of the uh, salt that's on there and we need to rehydrate it so it's nice and soft again. And that way when we go and flesh it, the flesh is going to come off easy. It takes about 20 minutes. Okay, so what I do is I usually just put it in there let it start to rehydrate in about 10 minutes time I'll change the water because I don't want the, the salt water absorbing into it not that I don't think it's any effect it's just a nice, like nice clean water all right I'm going to go and have a cup of coffee and I'll see you back here in about 20 minutes eh? okay here's the deer hide what I do, this is the head, this is the tail, you can see the bone still in the tail. So what I do, is because I'm not going to do these ones here, usually what I do is I will do the here, better still I'll show you. It's probably the best way to do it. Because what you want to do is you want to keep um, see all this, this is fat. Okay? You don't have to, it's totally up to you. you know, but what I do is uh, I keep fat, I put fat in this, this bucket, I put any, any um, you know, fresh in that bucket. First thing you will do that. I don't want that, I don't need that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put the hair on this one as well. So, we'll throw him away. But this has been sitting in the water for about half an hour now. Okay. What you do is pick it up and have a look. Sometimes if you're, uh, you're looking, you'll see the salt still sitting there. Just make sure the water can get to it. But what I do, as I say, because I keep it fat, and I don't want you don't you don't want these sort of straggy things. when you're tanning anyway. What I'll do is I'll just go through as far as I can. That's all fat. Keep that. You want that fat? I make candles out of it. Only going to get in the way. What you can do, you can those those strips. You can leave them um, like that. There, take it out later on. Take the hair off it and give it to dogs. You know, dogs will. will um, it's just like when you go and shop and buy a, a, a pig ear or or whatever. It's good for them. Okay, so that's what I do. And this one, now we're turning back around. And as I said, that's that's the bit, that's the head. And what you want to do is you want to go from the head to the tail. You know, pretty much with the grain as much as possible. Okay. And remember, I said this is a 150 mil pipe. Um, which is, I think it's about a six inch, I think, I'm not sure. Um, so what we do, make sure you stay on the top until you get practice. I mean, once you, once you know what you're doing, what you'll be able to do is come right over here. Okay? Like that. So that, that area there is pretty much done. 
<coughs> so what I do, when it starts curling up like that, there's two reasons it's going to curl up. Either it hasn't been saturated enough with water, or I can see here, I've got a fair bit of fat there. Okay, so just be a little bit careful. So that's a yes, no, yes, no, because it has got fat in it, so I will keep it. But you start on the top, top of your beam, okay, with your flashing knife, push it. Now what I do, and I'll show you all this step, I'll show you in my video. You know, so I won't go through the whole thing. You know, um, I'll show you exactly how to get, get it off. It's, it's an easy process. You know, some people say, oh, it's hard. Some people, when, when you take the, the fur off, you know, some people don't like it. You know, some people say it's so hard. It is difficult, but not. No, it's not. I don't find it that difficult. But anyway, I'm ready to on now. So what I do is I've got my own little habit. I'll start here. I'll start pushing and I'll turn. I'll turn it. And that way it cuts underneath it. Now with this here, you can't pull it out. So the best thing to do you've got things like that bring the skin to you bring it closer to you and that way you can control it see it's still there but see I'm pushing it out when you buy your knife if you can uh, I forget get one I usually have a rag with me get one with square handles round handles are good but when you get the fat, because you, you do get the fat off the, off the deer, you tend to slip and you do get blisters. Okay, so just, if you can. But, you know. Okay. Need a bit more fat. That's just become softer. This skin here, um, this one I think is about 12 months old, 14 months old. So it's been sitting in storage for a while. And when they've been sitting in storage like that, I find you you get a better product um, if you take the fur and everything off and then do a do a traditional buckskin. You know, always remember what I said in the video about deer hair. Always remember that. Then what we do is once you've done a section and you've opened it up, see that's all done. Yeah. I know it's, it's, I'm not sure where the camera can pick it up, it's still. Um, a brown to it, it's just a stain. Excuse my language, if you ever heard the, the saying piss poor, that actually came, um, it's a very, very old saying, and how it, it came about was in the old days, you know, 100, 200, 300 years ago, 400 years ago, if you were poor, but you had a bucket, what everyone in the, in the family used to do is they'd go and you know, we in the bucket. And two or three times a day, you take your bucket down to the tannery and they would pay you for it. See, and that's where you get piss poor and dirt. Dirt poor was, was someone who couldn't afford to have a bucket, couldn't afford to get one or make one, or and that was dirt poor. And yeah, and what they used to use the urine for is you would, you would put your skin in, leave your skin in there, and it would start to turn it white. That was part of the, the tanning process. But I'm not going to do that. I did try it once. Once. It's not um, It's not something I recommend you do. <laughs> My wife was not impressed. I can tell you that now. But you leave it there for a, a certain period. I didn't, I didn't look too far into it. Um, but yeah, you leave it in there for a certain period. Um, and it's supposed to turn the skin whiter or something so but yeah not something I'd recommend there are better ways bleach <laughs> okay. 
Okay, you see that? See up there, that's, that's a whole heap of fat. The thing you gotta, gotta watch when you're doing the skin is when you go and do, see this here, I can feel it. But when you go and put the, um, take your fat off, two things. Make sure that your skin is hydrated and make sure you actually get it off. See, that's, that's, still, that's still got some on it, okay? That's not hydrated enough. I can feel it. It feels, feels a little bit like a little lump of cement or something in there. It feels very hard, okay? But that's all right. That's all right. Sometimes you'll get a hide and the hide will be rehydrated in 10 minutes and other times it might take three quarters of an hour. It just depends on the height. Yo, know, remember what I said in one of my previous videos? It depends on what time of the year you get your height. To how, how it's going to come out. Okay? So, what we do is you start there. And you push up. Okay? Now, I'm not putting a lot of force on this. I'm not putting a lot at all. You know, all I'm doing is... I start here, I push, I turn, okay, and I do it in the line, right? If I do it, um, if I do it here, okay, I come back and I only go over the smallest amount and do it here. And usually what you do is, like, once, twice, three, now I'm moving it two or three times, and then you move it over. Okay. And when you get to the edges, just be a little bit careful. Sometimes edges are a little bit frail. But just feeling this one, I would say this is probably a... Probably winter. Because I can feel that the, the skin is fairly thick. See how I'm getting right in through here. Okay, that shouldn't have been, I shouldn't have done that, but that doesn't matter. If you have a look here, you'll see I've actually gone a bit too far down. Okay, too far in. That's right. See how you're pushing it off? Okay, see? All the flesh and fats come off that now. That's good. A little bit harder. As I said, this skin I've probably had a little bit of a hard life. It hasn't been well looked after. this side and do the same thing. Just go from one side to the other. And then when you've got it all done, you've gone right the way down. You've taken, see that there? I'll take that off. I'm not even going to worry about that. I'll take that off about here. No, I don't, I don't want that. I don't need it. You can keep them because they are very good for pockets. You know? When you're making clothes and that, you can make pockets. Once you've finished all that, you then turn your skin. And you do this section. Okay, remember that's the top. I'm going to rehydrate this a little bit more. I can feel, I can see and feel in there that the fat hasn't allowed the water to go in far enough then all you do is scrape that off and that'll, uh, that'll come up well. So I'll leave it at that. I'll just grab my, don't forget, there's our video. It explains every single step. 
if you wanted with this one, if you wanted to keep the hair on, I'll explain in this video how to do it. If you want to take the fur off, I'll explain it. Okay? So, thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe, go and check our video out. No worries. Take care now.